What's good, Aztec Nation? BYU took an international trip to Italy a little while ago to play some international competition, and someone decided it would be a good idea to post the game tape up on YouTube. <laughs> the fools. Let's take a look at what they're running. BYU basically had two offensive concepts when they went to Italy. The first concept involves getting the ball into the post and then setting a flare screen for the guy at the top of the key. It's a really simple exchange, but it's something that they can do a lot out of. For example, in this set, TJ Haas slips the flare screen as opposed to setting it and gets the ball right under the hoop. Here's the same set at full speed. Another variation they threw out was having the man at the top of the key cut into the paint while his defender was distracted trying to get around the screen. Same set but a different possession. Make sure you can spot this live. The other set they did was a simple stagger screen at the top of the key where the first screener would roll to the basket and the second one would pop. BYU's defense overseas revolved almost entirely around blitzing the ball handler in pick and rolls. This is something the Aztecs struggled with at times last season. The defensive big man comes up and attacks the ball handler until the ball handler either picks up the dribble or passes to somebody else. One of the easiest ways to counter this type of coverage is to have your big man pop. So if Yanni can hit pick and pop threes, this shouldn't be a very big problem for the Aztecs. An even better option is to have the ball handler pass the ball ahead to the weak side slot and then have that player pass the ball to the rolling big who is wide open since their defender is still blitzing the ball handler. The green team set it up beautifully here but failed to execute properly. This clip is closer to what it should look like, although the timing and the pass are still a little bit off. This time the player rejects the screen and finds some space down low, but the team failed to put a player in the dunker spot, and so the ball handler is forced to put up a floater as opposed to dumping it off to a big man. This clip shows how easy it is to set up an aggressive defense, as the big man sets up his screen as if it's going to go to the inside of the floor and then the ball handler goes to the outside. With the big man out of position, defensive rotations are needed and it leaves a corner shooter wide open. Matt Mitchell and Jordan Shackle can feast on plays like this all game long. BYU didn't show a lot because it was still early in their offseason practices, but from what they showed, I think the Aztecs have the personnel and the talent to be able to counter it and pull off a win, even playing in Provo. The keys on defense will be staying aware of the cutters and the shooters, and on offense, you just have to find ways to get around the hard hedge, whether it's that hit ahead that then hits the roll man, whether it's just simply running around it, whether it's faking a screen and then hitting that shooter in the corner, all these methods will work and really all of them should be called on at different points of the game as BYU adjust their defense. That does it for this one Aztec fans. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, find me on Twitter at Aztec Breakdown, listen to the Aztec Breakdown podcast, all the good stuff. Thank you very much for watching and listening and I will catch you next time.